Aston Martin Manila had a special VIP screening for the 24th James Bond film, Spectre, on November 7, 2015 at the Commerce Center Mall, Alabang. On display was the Aston Martin DB9, as well as a short presentation on the custom-built DB10 for Spectre. The Aston Martin DB9 is a grand tourer first shown by Aston Martin at the 2003 Frankfurt Auto Show. Available both as a coupe and a convertible known as the Volante, the DB9 was the successor of the DB7. It was the first model built at Aston Martin's Gaydon facility. The DB9, designed by Ian Callum and Henrik Fisker, is made largely of aluminum. The chassis is the VH platform also found in the Aston Martin DBS. The engine, on the other hand, is the 6-liter V12 from the Aston Martin V12 Vanquish. The most recent Aston Martin has a top speed of 183 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 4.1 seconds. and everyone from the British Embassy Manila. Thank you for being here. Any self-respecting Aston Martin fan knows of the brand's role in making film history with the James Bond franchise. It started with Goldfinger with Sean Connery and the extra talent behind the wheel of the fire. Aston Martin is not the fastest nor is it the most powerful luxury sports car in the world. But there's more to a car than speed or, or horsepower anyway. You buy a car, especially at this price point, and you want it to make a statement. You want presence when you pull up the driveway, the same presence that James Bond exudes. And today, we have the Aston Martin DB9 on display and the DB10. It's the bill of only for the film, so we won't be seeing the beauty on the streets. That makes me a bit sad because I've always wanted an ejection seat with a parachute. But this car gives us a glimpse into the future. The DB10 is a preview of the design direction the next generation of cars from Aston Martin. With the legacy spanning 102 years, power, beauty, and luxury, we can expect nothing short of excellence from this brand. This is an extraordinary opportune time for Aston Martin to finally arrive in Manila as it also celebrates 50 years of partnership with 007. And it's quite auspicious that Aston Martin was brought here also by a partnership of two families sharing the same vision of having this stylish, elegant beast on Philippine roads. Thank you once again for coming out this evening for the special screening of Spectre. And if after the movie, you decide if you want to be driving your own Aston Martin, just let me know and I'll take you for a spin. Cheers and good night. Aston, your ongoing relationship with Bond, are incredible. They've been totally collaborative and they've created the DP10. We've got eight Aston's in order to play. We've got our hero Aston Martin, which are just pristine for a day. We're getting all the hot Two stone cars which will be doing the high speed drifting and jump scenes. We're going to develop two into gadget cars. Well, I haven't had a chance to get behind the wheel yet, but Gary Brown and his stone cars have been put into the places. They're especially built for this film, the bodywork's been completely changed, the interior's been completely changed, so it's pretty unique. Really so we've got this fantastic car and 
love the idea of it being in a sort of one-on-one -on -one battle, a speed battle with another car. Right. Two separate characters, two completely separate cars. We have Pete, who's a beast of a character, a beast of a car, and obviously Bond drives the acid, which is a classic design, smooth, fast car. It's unique, and it feels right that it looks like a James Bond car, and it's got a few secrets. Kagura is the true home of the revered okonomiyaki, also known as the Japanese savory pancake or Japanese pizza, and considered Osaka soul food. This restaurant is one of the coziest and coolest restaurants in Little Tokyo, as there are only three tatami tables and a counter to watch the chefs, and is in most part decorated with Hanshin Tiger memorabilia, which is a hugely popular baseball team in Japan. Okay.